All right, everyone. So today I'm going to be making some light and fluffy dinner rolls. Uh, and it's two parts to this. The first part, I'll be using uh, my bread maker to make the dough. And then once we're done with that, uh, I'll get back and uh, let you know about how long to let it rest. Uh, and then we'll cut it up and then we're going to bake the, the dinner rolls in the oven. So we'll go ahead and get started with making the dough. And we're going to start out with our water. Our egg. Our softened butter. Our flour. Next, we're going to throw in our sugar. Salt. And our last ingredient, the uh, active dry yeast. And so I've already pre programmed it to our dough, which on this particular machine is eight. And that's all you need to do. It's going to go ahead and start on its own. And then it'll let you know as soon as it's done. All right, so the dough cycle just finished. So what we're going to do next, we're going to go ahead and pull this out. And we're going to put this in a bowl and we're going to let it set for about 10 minutes to 15 minutes. So make sure you don't forget to go ahead and pull out this uh, paddle. And then we're just going to lightly cover this with uh, plastic wrap. And like I said, just let it set for about 10-15 minutes. And then when we get back, we're going to go ahead and cut it up and portion it out for the dinner rolls. All right, so I let it set for about 15, 20 minutes or so, which is fine. As you can see, we got a good rise. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plastic off. That's a first order of business. And it's a little bit stuck, but that's fine. We're gonna flour up the board. So we're just gonna flour up a little bit of the board. Make sure my hands are floured. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. And there's two different ways that you can do it. Either you can just cut it up into even portions just by eyeballing it, or if you have a scale, you can use that. And I do have a scale, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way. So we're just gonna keep cutting it in halves until we get about 12 or 14 different pieces. Okay, so I got about 16 or so pieces. So what I'm gonna do now is just form them. And when you form them, all you want to do, make sure you have a little bit of flour on your hands, and you're going to form them by pulling down the sides around to the bottom. So they're a nice little bulb like that. And then we're going to place them. I already have a pan with parchment paper already set up. And once we form them all, we're going to let them set for another 30 to 40 minutes to rise. And then we're going to bake them. So once you're done with this, you probably want to get the oven ready. Uh, to 375 and I'll be back as soon as I let these rise for about 30 to 40 minutes. Alright so I let them rise for an, uh, another 30 minutes so we're going to go ahead and pop them in at 375 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes so start watching it at about 12 minutes to make sure they don't get overdone and you're looking for a nice light golden brown. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I left them in at 375 for a little over 15 minutes. It was about 17 or so minutes until I got that nice super light golden brown. Uh, I let them cool down for about two, three minutes. So I'm gonna give that first one a shot. And I did uh, forget to mention earlier, make sure you have a little bit of melted butter if you want that color. Uh, so before you put it in the oven, make sure you put a little uh, butter on top and it'll give it that nice color. And I left a note uh, at the bottom of the screen earlier. Now that's good. You can see it's cooked all the way through. It's really, really just a light and fluffy. Not too dense at all. That's a fantastic dinner roll. Enjoy.